There we go. Morning routine done. We go to the chiropractor every morning this week. We're still continuing our one week off. Now we're going to drive 50 miles back home and we're going to do something I have never done. And uh, I think it's going to be kind of cool. I, I think. I don't know. I'll let you know. We are going to go home and get a massage from like a professional massage person. Yeah, that should be pretty sweet. And then after we get done with that, we are going to uh, head for uh, Birkin, South Dakota, which is about three hours north of home. So I'm going to go up and see my daughter. I figured I'm home. I just will go up there and just say hi. And they're doing something called Downtown at Sundown in the town of Brookings. And the way it sounds, the Pride, which is... Um, the college's marching band will be playing. It's just six hours of driving. Wife thinks I'm kind of crazy, but that's just kind of the way I roll. Those things freak me out, praying mantises. Maybe it's just because they rip their their lovely love spouse's heads off, but they freak me out. All right, we're gonna wash the truck up, or we wash the truck up. We're letting her drip dry for a little bit, then we're gonna break the towel out and start our drying procedure. You don't have to get in a big hurry to drive vehicles in the Midwest, especially this time of year, because uh, the corn is so tall <clears throat> and uh, the humidity is insane. So if you start drying the minute you get done, it uh, you just soak your towels and move water around. We actually had to pull it out into the sun and let the sun do its thing because man, she wasn't drying whatsoever. All right, we got 25 miles to go until we're home or we'll get home. We got to change clothes. I got a button up shirt and you know, cargo shorts on I need to uh, put some more relaxing clothes on apparently is what the wife tells me she actually said when you get there she's gonna strip you down I go no 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 shirts good shorts stay on babies how are you two are you doing good are you sure okay let me through all right are you guys ready for this I'm going to go in public looking like this see look at these athletic shorts is what the uh, the kids call these versus my cargo shorts hey look at this hey this is one time I can actually wear my merchandise I'm actually nervous. Why am I nervous about going to get a massage? You should be like, oh yes, it's going to feel pleasant. Me, I'm like, I don't know. The German, he's like, dad, you're a dork. Aren't you? That's what you're saying to me. You're like, yeah, you're a dork. You're a really big dork. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ah, I'm just going to lay in here. I know, I have to leave. I just got home two minutes ago and I have to leave already. I'm sorry. Downtown is hopping. Look at that. Woo! Busy place.
Well, the pickup was clean for a little bit. It's not clean anymore. But it is about 15 degrees cooler up here in Brookings, South Dakota. What I think of that massage? Well, I think I had my hopes up a little bit too high. I was hoping it would give me some sort of relief. And I, I really, I didn't get that some sort of relief I was looking for. But everything else is pretty chill and everything else is pretty relaxed. That's a diesel. My pickup sitting right beside me. That's a diesel. You can't even hear it. It sounds like one of those electric cars. So, it, I don't know. Will I do it again? Of course I will. Because, well, I get to catch up on all the, uh, the local drama. Probably like a hair club, you know. And most of that was my fault because I was doing a lot of the talking. I get nervous sometimes. I talk too much. I'll do it again though, sometime, just not right away. Oh, and if you're curious, I got to keep my shorts on. I didn't have to get naked for it. She said a lot do. I said I don't. one time it was last year sometime I think it was maybe yeah that we came to Brookings here and they introduced me to their ice cream that the college makes and they happened to have vanilla that one time and I was just like oh my gosh this is the best vanilla ice cream I've ever eaten unfortunately ever since that one time a little bit over a year ago probably I have never since seen vanilla ice cream made by SDSU it's always been all that other stuff so I'm uh, about that close to giving up completely on trying to find it and just going back to my boring old blue bunny vanilla ice cream Okay, you guys may think I'm a little bit stalkerish, but I was just driving through the campus here because I was heading for more ice cream. They have an ice cream. You guys watch my channel. And guess what I found? The marching band is uh, practicing. So <laughs> I'm parked across the road <laughs> listening to them. I'm going to see if I can find my daughter. I'm trying not to uh, be too conspicuous in the wise of uh oh my gosh my dad is sitting over in that parking lot kind of thing I wouldn't even know where to start where she'd be standing and I don't have uh, the good camera with me so we're not zooming in on nothing I should probably leave this feels kind of stalkerish and I, I need to realize most of those kids are young adults I mean granted my daughter's a young adult but they're probably 20 years old or so you know so let's uh everybody back home is making fun of me they're like, man, you can't even make it two weeks. I go, no, we're right at two weeks since I kicked her, since I dropped her off at college. That's the max. Two weeks is the max. All right. I'm a stalker. I'm a stalker. That's all there is to it. Let's run over to the ice cream parlor and see if we can uh, find any vanilla ice cream, man. I'm on a mission here. Touchdown. Four. They had four vanillas left. 
somebody just walked in and bought six a little bit ago. Apparently vanilla is a very hot item for their ice cream. I was talking to the lady there. But I got four of them. Wait. If dad's watching this. Dad, I only got one. I'm sorry. I can't share it. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Ah, I'm going to have to crawl in there. How you doing on battery? Oh, we're plenty good. This is going to hurt. Oh! Okay. We will make these fit. That side is the refrigerator side. This side right here is the freezer side. So we've established where the event is. It's just on their main street. It looks like a bunch of food vendors and I've seen a lot of uh, college tents set up. So I'm assuming it's going to be in that general area. We've established a place to park within a couple blocks away. So we have an hour away. Yes, yes, if you're wondering, I came up early. I am sorry. It's what stalkers do. I figured my daughter's going to be living here for four years I just well familiarize myself with the town now to go see if I can find a campground within <coughs> a campground nah I don't want to look for a campground today I'd like to find a campground around here somewhere so I like to winter camp and up here they actually get winter we don't really get winter much back home other than a couple weeks but they actually get winter up here still so I figured I can kill two rocks with one stone, stalk my daughter, and uh, do some winter camping. Not today, of course, because it's 75 degrees, but in the future. What I really got to find, though, is a good tire shop and a good uh, mechanic shop. Probably, probably a mixture of a... Uh, a tow company as well just for those incidents that happen when uh, she's up here at school and I'm at home or in the truck and I can't come up to help her and the, the patronage that you've shown our sponsors if you guys want to become a sponsor you guys can become a That was my tater tot standing over on that corner. I seen her and I gave her a very big hug. And I said, I'm not letting you go. She goes, I see that dad. She introduced me to a few of her friends and I'm trying to not be like I was in high school. I'm just trying to be like, just chill out, back off. So she's chilling out with them right now. I went into the store and I actually found me a sweater. It's a, uh, it's not a sweat shirt, it is a sweat tur. Of course it's 75 degrees out, so you don't want to wear that now. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. There is, uh, I think Paige said there's like 40, 40 or 50 of the marching band kids signed up to play today. And uh, that's 40 out of, I think there's like 320 or 350 marching band kids or marching band I stop calling them kids 350 participants in the marching band and uh, about 40 of them signed up to play tonight should sound pretty good still 40 that's bigger than any band page has played in see I'm a jackrabbit dad it's gray it's not blue but it's got blue on it it's got to find a blue one now I got a text from her when I was sitting in my pickup because after I talked to you guys last after we found our parking spot and everything I went and I found a campground here in town a really nice one and then uh, I went and I parked what I thought was far enough away from the band 
to where I could just watch from a distance. <laughs> and I get a text from her after it's done. Dad, I see you! All capital letters. Um, me and Uber Dad used to do that quite a bit. When she practiced marching band in high school back home, we'd, Dad would pull up on the golf cart or I'd pull up on the pickup and we'd just watch him practice. Um, <laughs> Dad, I see you! I got a corn dog. It's the hand of the lattice from home. It's them singers, lots of gold. It's the newborn baby he left with his wife. So that was 40 of them, 40 kids. Can you imagine what it's going to be like with 325 or 330? I'm going to have to get a number on that. I have no clue how many of them there is. And of course, I'm that kind of channel, so you stick around. Where are we going to our first game in two weeks? No, next, I think it might be next weekend we come up here for that game. So you will uh, see them in full force. I know you've got this beautiful hair color, so does it usually work in your favor? But, uh, no. <laughs> she said, she's like, Paige, stop thinking. Go back to being blonde. Well, she was overthinking too much. God. I have dropped you far too much, child. Far too much. One of the busiest truck stops or travel plazas that I will ever see in South Dakota, the Coffee Cup Travel Center. It actually used to be a ghost town, then they remodeled it and it got insane busy. Ran into Tony inside there. Tony's a subscriber of ours. It was darn nice to meet you, Tony. All right, we probably got 30, 50, probably about 80 miles left till we're at the home front. Well, we made it home right at midnight, 466 miles later. That's counting the 100 miles that we had to go to Sioux City for that chiropractor appointment at the beginning of the video, and then coming back home, then going back up. So 466 miles, well worth every single mile. Tell that to my leg, and maybe it'll believe you. Holy smokes, we're getting a lot of leg pain right now. Um, 
herniated disc in my lower back. Basically, there's a nerve running down my leg, sciatica type thing. So, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. If you did, please throw a like. If you did enjoy it, please throw a like down there. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But other than that, I'm going to leave you guys right here. I'm going to go in and go to bed. You guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.